In the Community Psychology, Liberation Psychology, and Eco-Psychology Specialization, a Pacifica's Depth Psychology program, we ground our work in a deep appreciation of interdependence. We understand that our psychological well-being is intimately connected to the well-being of our families, communities, cultures, and ecosystems. This interdependence requires that we create and practice interdisciplinary approaches to the pressing community, cultural, and ecological challenges of our time. To study community and eco-psychology in the light of liberation psychology is to explore the profound effects of injustice, violence, and the exploitation of others in nature on psychological, community, and ecological well-being. It is a commitment to help co-create joyful and vibrant communities and uplift indigenous understandings of human connection with the natural world. Our historical time requires psychologies that can help create paths to peace and reconciliation, social and economic justice, and environmental sustainability. At Pacifica, we are forging these approaches. Our students orient their work around their own areas of passionate interest and vocational call. They travel to campus three consecutive days a month, nine months a year, from their homes in the U.S. and abroad. In the summer, they immerse themselves in community and ecological fieldwork and research that prepares them for making their own creative contributions. When I first found the CLE program, I saw that each of these components were all already something that I was doing and I was already impassioned about. The community aspect, the liberation aspect, the eco aspect, and I saw it and I said, you know what, this is something that I really feel that I would really get a lot out of this. I feel like I've been sort of, the word I want to use is angeled along, you know? It's, it's, been, it's been a really smooth process for me. One of the biggest lessons I've learned here at Pacifica is to listen, to hold my agenda or my eye, my need to speak and listen and open space for listening. And in that, new ideas, new uh, perspectives have emerged. Learning about um, eco-psychology and then combining it with um, human liberation and social equity really creates a link and then moving it into community makes it even more uh, powerful and it actually becomes a practice. This program is really an invitation to students to step outside psychology as it's ordinarily constructed. It's really a very bold invitation to students who, who come to us knowing that there are real limitations of psychology as usual. In this program, we've tried to make very explicit what the goals of, of CLE program are. And they are to deal with the effects of people living in socially unjust, economically unjust environments, in situations where there's very little ecological sustainability, and often a lot of violence. The critical community psychology paradigm goes further in constantly questioning conditions of power that exist in society and making a commitment to, to distribute power and resources equally. And even further, questioning uh, the usual dominant narrative that has been born in Europe and North America and imposed uh, universally. Students at Pacifica are here because they're interested in solving some of the most pervasive uh, social problems of our time. And so in order to do that, we want to give them a toolkit of research methodology to help them uh, one, deepen the exploration of the kinds of issues that they're interested in and to actually have the tool tools to cause a shift or a rupture in systems that uh, maintain inequalities and injustice. Yes, eco-psychology. Uh, we have made this a very special focus now, doubtless fueled by the climate crisis, but I think also by a concern with uh, our relationship with other species, uh, species extinction, the well-being of the environment, 
while a hundred issues kind of congeal and really circulate around what is it to be a member of a, an environment that is frankly collapsing before our very eyes. Not just what to do, but how to think about it. One of the things that um, intrigued me most about your project um, was that your participants were not humans. You were doing your project with another species, with wolves. Well, I started out wanting to know how humans could be advocates for another species. So when I went, I went to a wolf sanctuary and I intended to interview the people who work closely with the wolves in order to hear from them um, how they would talk about wolves and how they would talk about the relationships between humans and wolves. Everything got kind of tossed aside and shifted once I got there because I had never met a wolf before and I had never been around them and the moment I arrived I started hearing them and interacting with them. Clearly the wolves had their own voices and they were coming out pretty strongly. So my name is Barbara Bain. I'm a Shasta Indian descendant from Northern California. My work with the CLE program really stems from that and that aspect of my lineage and who I am and what I associate with that. How do I address poverty? How do I uh, address ideologies and identity that's still related to genocide? And how do I create a container for Native people to be able to work with that in a way that creates resilience in, in Native communities? Well, indigenous psychologies are uh, systems of knowledge that emerge from their own cultures. This has truly emerged as a contestation from, uh, as we are called, the third world psychologists who have been colonized. So out of this uh, frustration, of this deception, or also the realization that there are uh, enormous amounts of wisdom within our own cultures that come even from cosmologies, from religion traditions, from philosoph philosophical traditions, from, from their own particular cultures, that this can help to create our own psychologies. So we encourage students to work in collaboration with community members to develop dissemination plans for research findings that are going to have the broadest reach within community and the most impact. Wanting to use art and specifically photography and, and the visual as part of my project comes out of an understanding that the imaginal can communicate to us in ways that are valuable and in ways that don't happen in other medium. The use of photography as well had to do with wanting to disseminate this project and wanting to get it out into the world in a way that could be accessible to people, in a way that could stimulate the heart, but also get the mind moving and thinking and get the gears turning about this whole system of youth incarceration. Liberation psychology grew out of liberation theology which was a very radical movement in Latin America that tried to align the church not with minority that held power, but with the majorities. So the work that I do in the world is I work with incarcerated and formerly incarcerated youth. I specifically work with youth in Los Angeles County. Some of the work that I'm looking at today is how does the juvenile justice system serve that prison industrial complex? Are young people being uh, manufactured into adult prisoners uh, to serve corporate interest and political greed. So that's where this work is leading me and this is something that has blossomed, it's happened here at, at Pacifica.